Welcome to Collective Gifts. I'm Noella and this is Rachel. Hey, 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 everyone. As we go forth in faith, we're going to go through times where we wonder about certain things and we may actually believe lies. And those lies become our truth. And when it becomes our truth, right, it affects our mindset, it affects our heart attitude. So then it'll affect the way that we see and speak about things, whether it's about other people or even ourselves. So years before we moved to the Bay Area, I had a moment where I was questioning God because I heard a testimony of a woman who came to church and she was ministering as a musician. And she had an amazing story about how she went through hard times and through it all, God was always faithful. He always took care of her. He provided even when it was in that midnight hour, he was able to show himself strong. So I wondered, okay, was this only for her? Because you know she has this amazing gift and you know she she appears to be perfect right just because you know she's polished she looks like she's never been through hardship or whatever so it made me question did he really do that well i when i talked to god about that you know i came to that place of well i want that too if you can do it for her can't you do it for me but i thought in the lie i believe the lie that god wouldn't do it for me i believe the lie that it was only for certain people who had you know special callings in their life well, because of that, that hindered me from really knowing God because I placed limitations on him and what I thought he was like. And so when I came to that place of, all right, God, I want you to show me that you would do it for me. You know, I want to experience that too for myself. And so because I humbled myself and I made myself open to know him and to allow him to work in my life, that was when I was able to experience him for myself. And as a matter of fact, you know, we both did in a tremendous way when he moved us to the Bay Area. And we shared our story um, about a couple of weeks ago. So if you haven't heard that, you can go forth and we'll put the link to the video in the description box below. And so with that said, when we started knowing God for ourselves, we were able to see that, all right, he loves us all the same. He doesn't have particular favorites because they're more, you know, holier than us, right? Mm -hmm. You know, or, or they have these amazing gifts or callings upon their life. No, we are all important to him because we are all his children. And because of that, it's like the, the word which tells us, right, that we are many members, but part of one body. Well, he needs all of us to operate as that one body. We all have gifts. It doesn't matter how big or how little it is. A gift is a gift, right? A life is a life and it is valuable and precious to him and that's what Ephesians 2 10 tells us right that we are his workmanship his poema his poem we are priceless and he created us to do good works which he prepared to do for us to do in advance in Christ Jesus for the glory of God and so that being said God is not a respecter of person what he would do for that woman which I thought oh he won't do that for me was totally a lie and so once I believed that truth, I was able to be set free from that and be able to go forth on my own faith journey to discover God for myself and even for you doing the same as well. Yes, it says in the Bible that people perish for lack of knowledge. And so mm -hmm. with the lies of the enemy, you know, trying to stop you and hinder you from growing and just believing God and his word, you know, those lies, it not only affects you, but it could affect, you know, those that are around you as well, because, you know, that affects your decisions and, you know, how you think and how you speak and just in your actions, just overall. And so with that, with the lies have just hindered us. But with that truth, what the word says about you, we are all the same and God, we are all God's favorite. And so what he did for that singer, he would do for us, not only for us, but also for you too, because we are his prized possession. God loves us so much that he made provision for every little single thing. And so that we can know without a shadow of a doubt, have that faith in him that he is working things out. He's going to provide for whatever it is that you need so that we can go forth being set free from all those lies of the enemy because it says whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And the word says that it never ever returns back void. Mm -hmm. God says it in his word, my covenant, I will not break nor alter the word that has gone out of my lips. So if he said it in his word, he's going to do it. And he said he is ready to perform his word. And so we just have to just sit back and just dwell within the word study it and so that we can go forth knowing who we are and go forth being set free from all the lies of the enemy and so when there's like a fiery dart or someone says something you can go forth and just um count, count counteract that with the word because the word is the truth it is your your weapon to go forth to in victory mm -hmm. so that we no longer be hindered by those lies 
Yep. We will perish for lack of knowledge. So it's important for us to know the truth, right? So that we can go forth and be set free. We can go forth in the freedom that God has given us. We can go forth operating as we should and no more be bound to those lies so that we won't be able to live life to its fullest. And with that said, you know, we want to talk about the different lies that we believe because we want to encourage you because no matter where we are in our season of life or our level of faith, right, we are all growing and God has taken us from glory to glory. And so we want to go forth and be open to Holy Spirit to give us um, revelation over what lies we believed so that we can remove that. We can break those things down with the word of God and to go forth and be who God, you know, called us to be and how he created us to be. So we want to encourage you. We hope that this video, you know, really um, you could relate with it to see that, all right, you know, you're not the only one if you believe the lie that God won't do it for you. You know, we, we fell for that too. And so now that we know better, right, we're able to go forth by faith and not by sight. We know how to use the word and, uh, you know, not only speak it, but to live it so that we can see God work in our life because now we are co-laboring with him. We are partnering with him. We are opening ourselves to him so that he can work in us and through us. And so we thank God that you, you will also continue to go forth in getting greater revelation of any area in your life that you believe the lie so that God can help bring forth the truth in your life so that you can go forth in that healing and deliverance and go forth in the the pathway to, to grow and be taken from glory to glory. So we thank you all for joining us. God bless you all. And until next time, Shalom. Shalom.